Greetings WordPressers, Jackson here. In today's show, we are gonna be taking a look at how to build your very own custom 404 page for WordPress. So the 404 page, you know, it's the thing that people see if they try to go to a page that doesn't exist on your website. You may have a 404 page in your template files if you've got a particular theme, but if you want to jazz it up a little bit, maybe make it look a little bit special, then you can, and you can do it, of course, with a plugin. The one that I like at the moment is one called, I've had to write it down because it's too hard to remember. It's called the 404 page, your smart custom 404 error page. Quite a long name for a plugin. But anyway, it does the trick beautifully. And in this WordPress tutorial, we're gonna show you how with this plugin in about three or four minutes. So the first thing we're gonna do is go grab the plugin that we need for this mission. We're gonna to to go to plugins, add new. And on my text document, I have got your smart custom 404 error page. Reasonably long title for a plugin, but it works really well. Let's do a keyword search for that, and there's our plugin. We're going to install that now, and let's activate that right now. So, once the plugin is activated, you'll see on our appearance menu we have a new menu item called 404 error page, and this is the plugins page. Now there's not really much to it other than choosing what page you would like to be your 404 page, which means we have to create a page which is going to be our 404 page. So let's do that right now and we'll come back to this in just a sec. Uh, we're going to go to pages, add new, and we shall call this for 404 page. And what we'll do is we'll go and grab a bit of text that I prepped earlier just to stop you from getting too bored watching me type out stuff. Let's get some carriage returns in there and we'll center all that and get some headings on there. Two and a heading three to get a link on there as well so that they can find their way home like that I might put a card return in there let's update that right and that's kind of it for a you know super basic uh, 404 page um, let's go have a look to see what we need to do now on our settings for our 404 error page. So pretty simple stuff. You literally just choose the page that you want to use. And there's our 404 page. So let's uh, save that. And now we can we have the opportunity to test the page by clicking the button here. And there you go. Done. We have our very own bespoke error page for WordPress in what two minutes pretty amazing now of course you know that I'm a little fat a little bit of a fan of page builders and on this site we see we've got the mighty visual composer so what I'm going to quickly show you now is how to jazz it up and make it uh, a little bit more special we're going to just flip to visual composer we're going to delete that text and instead add some header component and in there we're going to put our text which we'll get from text two. Oh no um we'll make the tag for the header title h1 and then we'll get the other stuff in here like we did before but we've got a little bit more flexibility now and also some mighty fine options. Let's get that home page link back in there. Underline to make it obvious. Let's get the home page in. Uh, and we'll save those changes 
we're going to now give our row some super duper design we'll go to a full height row we'll put the contents in the middle we'll go and grab an image upload a file which i have on my desktop uh we'll grab that one and set that as the background image and we'll just do that to cover save that and update that um let's go let's go um view that in the front end oh yes that looks much better so we just need to get some design on this and we're going to put a bit of padding all the way around there and we're going to add a little element that i like using where we can get the nav bar with the logo behind the image using that let's refresh that and show you what that looks like Ooh, rather not rather tasty uh let's just get our text looking better here because we forgot to actually do the h2 and the h3 there plus we're going to add wp search in fact we're going to put that in a row so that we can add some other stuff to it like some padding either side and let's put a bit of empty space below it and one more thing we'll add this recent post so we've got a way that the user can search and also a list of recent posts which is a pretty cool idea we'll update that and check it out on the front end again shazam a little bit more groovier style 404 page but there you go whether you want to build something a little bit more bespoke like i just did with a page builder or even in your own html or a page template or you just do the plain page either way you can have your own bespoke 404 page today with this very simple plugin so there you go, the 404 page built in a matter of minutes with that great 404 page plugin. But do you have any 404 page plugins or other methods to create your 404 pages in WordPress? Please do go ahead and get your comments in below. And of course, if you do like what you're seeing here on the Jackson channel, please can I ask you to consider subscribing. But until next time, I'll see you later.